Ladies and gentlemen, so the main important thing, again, we look at this, and this is the same type of problem. Again, we have parallel lines, right? So the first thing we want to do, just like for anything else, is we want to determine what is the angle relationship. So we look at these and we say, all right, Ms. McGlogan, one is interior, one is exterior. They're on the same side of the transversal, and they're both in the upper left-hand corner of the intersection of your line and transversal. So we call those, Daryl? Exactly. We call those, how do we call these angles? So many people already just yelled them out loud. How are these related to each other? <laughs> exactly. Make sure you know your vocabulary. So we have corresponding angles, all right? And we also have parallel lines. Now, please don't shop out this time. But Daryl, do you know how corresponding angles, the measure of them, relate to each other? They're equal to each other. Very good. So I can say that this angle is equal to that angle. So I can say 75 degrees is equal to 11x minus 2. And that's really degrees. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, now what we're going to do is we can solve this. So I will add 2 degrees. So therefore, it's 77 degrees equals 11x. Divide by 11, divide by 11, x equals 7, or 7, or x equals, um, yeah, 7. And therefore, you guys can plug that into there, or you can do 7 degrees either way. Um, but there, x equals 7. So that's your value of your x. OK? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Perfect.